Hello, Leo, and welcome to your weekly reading. Leo, this is for the week of November 21st through the 27th. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Feel free to check your moon and rising signs and your Venus signs um, to see if there's any more information or, or any more... Um, if you're looking for something specific or an answer or whatever, some type of guidance, see if those have um, more of what you're looking for in those. Um, welcome to my channel, Leo, if you are new here. Thank you so much for being here. Wow, what a card. What a beautiful card. Wow, wow, wow. That is absolutely gorgeous. Ace of Wands. Beautiful. Um... Thank you for being here. Welcome. Welcome to my channel, Force for the Trees. I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you so much. Um, if you are returning for your trust and support, for your likes, shares, and subscribes, for all the comments and all the things, I really appreciate all that also. Um, anything you need is going to be in the description below. If you'd like a um, to know what decks of cards I'm using, I have listed all those. If you'd like to know, well, that one just said, come on out. If you'd like to know more about astrology, I have a link to astro.com, and that is also, um, there's plenty of um, astrology sites. It's just one I happen to use, so, you know, feel free to check out your own. It's I'm not getting paid for it or anything like that. It's just something I, I use. Um, so all that's listed there, and again, my website, anything you need is there. Two of Swords is your undercurrent energy or your subconscious energy or energy that um, you might know that you need to make a decision on, but you are kind of hesitant on. Two of Swords is a card of choices. It's a card of decisions. It's a card of, um, maybe a crossroads in your life, coming to a crossroads in your life, making a decision. I love this inner, I love that up there. I just love it. Beautiful. Maybe, uh, coming into a, um, Again, a crossroads or a decision that you're going to have to make and um, to try to see things clearly or try to get um, input or get information or get some type of um, some type of um, confirmation or affirmation to what, what it is that you need to decide on, what it is you need to move forward on or what it is you need to think about or um, make your mind up about possibly. So we have the Ace of Wands. We have this beautiful energy. It is fire energy. Look at that. You know, you have Aries. It's you. It's Leo Sagittarius energy. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. And you know, when this card first turned over, the first thing I thought of was a tiger. And I know Leo's a lion, but it's just the the. the the tiger, you know, I honestly thought that was a tiger clawing at something. Um, this hand holding that wand up. It is, um, to me, showing that I feel like don't count you out. You have that spark. You have that creativity. You have something to offer. You have something to give. You have something to show. You know, you're being guided. You're being directed. Um, again, the wands that spark a creativity, the knowledge. There's so much there to share and it's, it can be something you're very passionate about, or you could be having a new idea or an idea about something you're passionate about. It could be coming, you know, this to me looks like a home. It could be coming out of your house. It could be coming out of your childhood or, or something that you're pulling from your past, um, that you're reaching up for to, um, other like-minded people in a sense that, you know, this has happened to them too, or this, you, they can relate to this also. Um, it is full of energy and ideas and it's, it's that spark of creativity. It's that spark of genius, almost that spark of, um, not only look what I can do, but look what's coming energy or that feeling. Then we have the lover's card. So this also is a card of choices because you have the card of choices here with, you know, the two of, um, swords energy about your thoughts, your communication, how best to maybe communicate something, how best to maybe tell somebody something, or really being at a crossroads knowing um, which way to take a project or which way to take uh, an idea. You have the lover's card. Now, this could be um, telling you that, you know, 
the people closest to you, your partner possibly can be the one to go to for advice, the one that knows you the best, the one that you trust. Um, again, it's a card of decisions or choices because they have a choice of being with this person or this person. I almost see this as um, like, you know, being in a, obviously she's a, a ballerina, being in a, a recital or being in a dance and you have the backup, you have um, the, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, you know, if, if something happens to the lead, then you take over. What I'm feeling in this is that you could be on top of your game. Everything could be going really well for you, but you can, you need to remember that you're just a stone's throw away from kind of being knocked down a peg or your stone's throw away from being lifted up a peg with these two cards. It's like either you're this one, you know, waiting for your turn or you're this one shining in the spotlight. You know, I don't know which one. With the Ace of Wands, I'd almost say that you're the one shining in the spotlight. But again, know that it can be, uh, it can be turned around. It can be also lost. So um, be very appreciative and be very thankful and be very humble about what you're going through. And, and uh, be very genuine to other people that might be in the wings waiting or that might be, you know... I almost like see this as if you're like a star or something and there's people, you know, waiting to meet you, you know, they could, they could be paying the extra money and you're like, oh, I don't want to do this again. You know, you have that attitude and it's not going to get you very far if you keep that up. So we need to keep that humble. We need to keep that. And, and I'm sure after you do something day in and day out, but again, these, these, you know, whoever's there, whoever's seeing you and learning from you deserve that from you that's part of it that's part of what what you're in that position for right um the ten of swords is a card of ending ending a cycle ending something um could be your thoughts your emotions um you can be done with something you could be done with certain people in your life um to me this ten of swords is it's a card about if you don't put something to an end, the universe will. And I see this almost as a health card for you, Leo. Um, take a check on what you're doing health-wise because if you don't start turning things around in your health, uh, the universe might take a hand in it and um, set you back a little bit. So um, that's kind of what I see with this card. Um You know, it's the end of a cycle, so it's like you're close to getting where you want to go, where your decisions are, where your uh, choices are lying. You're 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 really close to there, but you need to take care of yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. It is all the three. You really need to put in the time. And I'm not saying you know go on a spiritual retreat. I'm just saying to kind of. Um, if you've been eating ice cream every day or if you've been eating cookies every day and you're diabetic, you know, obviously that's not the best choices. So um, be mindful of your choices. And again, I think that's where the lover's card comes in. Be mindful of your choices and be mindful of what you say to yourself about yourself and what you think um, in any given situation, because what we think about, we bring about. So, um, you know, this card comes back in with the two of swords, with your choices, your crossroads. So you can be at a crossroads with, do you go forward with this idea and go forward, even if you're a performer or if you're, you're into a play or you're into something like that, um, this might be your idea for a new play. This might be your idea for something you've written or you created, or you're going to teach a course on something. That's a possibility too. Um, but again, be humble. Be very grateful and be very um, honest about everything. And pay attention to your health. Pay attention to mental, spiritual, and emotional. Um, all of the above. Because 
that can come into play also. And, you know, you don't want to be um, at the height of something and then have to go in hospital or something like that. So, um, you know, be mindful of fatigue. Be mindful of um, if you're not sleeping well. And, you know, just be mindful of things and try to, to, um, to straighten things out. Take, you know, take care of you. Ten is an end of a cycle. So this could be, you know, where you are very weary and you're tired. Um, if you are performing or you are writing or you are directing or you are doing something like that, you could be very tired at this point in time. And it's it's also just, you know, telling you that uh, it's, it's almost over. So hang in there. This also could be, you know, again, something you're working on. It could be um, I'm not really seeing job, job related here. Um, I think it's something you're creating that, that others see or others can relate to like a book or, a, um, a class or something like that. You have capable, you can deal successfully with whatever challenges and circumstances arrive. And there's no doubt. There's no doubt about that. It is just... Um, just like this card, there's many layers here. There's many layers that you have to deal with, right? Um, the horse is running up here, and then you have this layer, and then you have this layer. There's many layers. There's 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 a lot of um, collaboration. It's not the right word I'm looking for. It's almost like there's a continuation. It's just right when you get one thing done, another thing comes in and another thing comes in, you know, and, and you are just trying to, um, to hold it together is what I feel. It's a beautiful card. You're capable. You're capable of dealing successfully with whatever changes and circumstances arrive. And there's no doubt um, my thing is just to take care of your health. You can deal with it at what cost. If you can delegate it to other people, then by all means delegate it to other people. Um, that could be part of this card where it's hard to give up control. It's hard to give up maybe even decision making. But there might come a time where you have to in order to um, have enough time to spend on what you need to spend it on. So that's a possibility too. Um, yeah, just multi-layered here. There's, there's a lot going on behind the scenes of everything, not only with your work and your job, but your home life, your personal life. But again, now that that's, that will come to an end, but you have to take care of yourself or it can come to an end quicker than, you know. Um, again, you can be in the hospital and not be able to continue with what you're doing. So just take care of your health mentally, physically, spiritually, um, and give yourself a break. Give yourself some rest time. Give yourself some downtime. It doesn't have to be a day or three. It could just be time, right? All right, Leo, if you know any other Leos, it sounds like, please feel free to share. Good luck to you this week. And what a week, what a week. You'll have to let me know how this uh, resonates if you don't want to say you know type it out then just give me a thumbs up I'd appreciate that that way I'll know that you know it, it resonated with you or or uh, some part of this did anyway okay take care of yourself and each other stay safe and healthy right something too I have I just noticed on this card is you know these lightning bolts coming out like a, again it's a spark it is a it is a uh, divine you know given it's like the idea that comes like out of the blue can be taken away that quick too. All right. Stay safe and healthy. Till next week. Leo, bye for now.